This week, we dive into brand new DevOps courses. Let's get to it. Last week, we covered several container-related courses, so be sure to check those out in the last episode of the weekly update. Big news, Red Hat released Enterprise 8 on May 7th. This adds multiple new features, such as web console, application streams, improved security, and updated configuration capabilities. For more information on the release and features in general, check out the podcast Linux Action News episode 105, and you can find the link below the video. And by the way, this Red Hat Enterprise version is already available on Linux Academy's Cloud Playground, so go ahead and spin up a server and have fun. We've launched more than 10 new hands-on labs, including several involving MySQL, which if you haven't worked with it before, it's a very popular database management system used by companies like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and many more. These hands-on labs will assist you with installing MySQL, creating databases, inserting data into tables, and a lot more real-life scenarios. Definitely be sure to check those out on linuxacademy.com. Outside of that, we have new hands-on labs for AWS, Kubernetes, and more. So definitely be sure to check those out in the weekly update blog post. In addition to those hands-on labs, we've got four brand new courses. And the first course we're gonna talk about is the DevOps Monitoring Deep Dive, where we use Prometheus, Alert Manager, and Grafana to demonstrate monitoring concepts that can apply to any monitoring stack. We start by building a foundation of general monitoring concepts, and then we get hands-on by working with common metrics across all levels of our platform. The second new course is the Splunk Deep Dive, and this course serves as an introduction to Splunk Enterprise. After getting familiar with basic terms and components, you will get to set up your own Splunk instance through the Linux Academy Cloud Playground. With your own instance, you can follow along as we secure our standalone Splunk instance, configure monitoring and alerting, and finally, index log data to perform search and visualization analysis. Next, we launched our Ansible setup, configure, and ad hoc commands deep dive. Modern DevOps culture requires both automation and configuration management, and Ansible is more than capable of meeting both those angles. This course is the first in a series on Ansible, and it provides a thorough introduction to key Ansible features and modules, and it provides a foundation to build upon. Last but not least, we launched an Ansible Playbooks Deep Dive course, and this course is the second in our series on Ansible. Many key features of Ansible Playbooks are highlighted as we work through the course, and a few new modules are introduced along the way. That's it for this week, but be sure to hit subscribe and that bell icon for notifications because next week we've got even more content announcements.